back to the Nigerian people. The polling unit is not the only place where election shall be won and lost. Not at the world level, All right. not at local government. So, not on any other level of collation. Me, me, this me, is the reality. Mr. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, 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 the bullets that normally kill uh, a live, uh, an elephant is usually not as big as an elephant. Today, they must come to the reality. Most of the political Egyptians you are seeing, with Nigerian uh, massive turner that we're going to see, they are going to overshadow everybody. In fact, let me make the final point with respect to party agent now. Right now, the shenanigan of pulling unit of sharing unused ballot is gone forever. We don't even need agents at that pulling unit, but we need them so that they can be a witness to what is going to happen. Let them go and set up their situation room because they will be the first to have overview of the result before I know. Because, for example, as a presiding officer, why not I need to come to meet you? Maybe you are in Maryland, for instance, which is the work relations center. A, an agent of a party we immediately snap the picture of that result and upload to their situation room, and they will have an overview of the entire result before I never will finish own result. That is where we are now. A time is coming, shown where some of you, in the next election, maybe by 2027 or thereabout, some of you will be making full projection like the CNN. That's where we are going. We INEC has solution to some of these things, but INEC is being gradual in doing what we are doing. All we right. want to make this at least that is slow in getting to where we are. The mm -hmm. era of democracy, will be killed by more democracy. Mr. Guinea, uh, I want to ask you a final question. If you can move slightly to your left of the screen so that you can be central into the into the frame of the screen. My final okay. question is to you is, the is bigger... Yeah, I think it's fine now, yeah. So, I th I'm I'm one of the major problems that people see about this election is the issue of vote buying. I, I mean, Chief Afebalala said as much. Are you afraid that that vote buying, which is one of the reasons why CBN said they're putting in place this policy. Do you think th this could be a way that some politicians who are planning to rig elections could find their way into the art of uh, the process? So, first and foremost, there, is, there have been sufficient education and enlightenment. We know that poverty and illiteracy are the greatest threat to electoral democracy, to uh, liberal democracy. I can tell you here that currently in this country, there is anger in the land. There is hunger in the land. Look, the level of people who are going to participate in this election will be so massive that how many will you buy? You see, vote buying tribes so well because of the level of our party. Many people were not showing up. So in polling unit where you to have 50 people now, you are going to have about 300 to 500 people. So how many people will you buy? It's not going to have, it's not going to make any impact. They will try, but Nigerian will eat their money. In any case, the current CBN policy, why I urge the federal government or CBN to do everything possible so that I begin to eject money in and order. You know, I've been issued, I welcome it wholeheartedly because even INEC as a commission, INEC don't deal with cash. We have been doing it, and I can remove issue about since when we came on board in 2011. We don't deal with cash in INEC. We do on transfer. That's what we've been doing, paying our ad hoc staff. So uh, I heard when Arthur Valoda says so, and I want to respectfully disagree with him. Not say disagree with him, I can understand his pain because he himself is condemning the art of vote buying. So he came to the conclusion that, oh, because some people have charged so much money, show, let me tell you, a massive blow has been done to the project of vote buying, even on account of what is going on. Even if we allow uh, any of these currencies to be used and all that, Nigerians will not even accept that money from anybody. Vote buying will be of minimal impact in this election. Go and write it down. 